It was the last night of Sha'ban. The blessed month of Ramadan was right around the corner, and Prophet Muhammad wasallam addressed the companions. أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ قَدْ أَضَلَّكُمْ شَهْرٌ عَظِيمٌ شَهْرٌ مُبَارَكٌ شَهْرٌ فِيهِ لَيْلَةٌ خَيْرٌ مِّنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٌ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ صِيَامَهُ فَرِيضَةً وقيام ليله تطوعا ومن تقرب فيه بخصلة من الخير كان كمن أدى فريضة فيما سواه ومن أدى فيه فريضة كان كمن أدى سبعين فريضة فيما سواه وهو شهر الصبر والصبر ثوابه الجنة وشهر المواساة وشهر يزداد فيه رزق المؤمن من فطر فيه صائما كان مغفرة لذنوبه وإتق رقبته من النار وكان له مثل أجره من غير أن ينتقص من أجره شيء O people, a great month has casted over you, a blessed month. In it is a night which is better than a thousand months. Allah has obligated fasting within it and has kept the standing at night optional within it. Hence, whoever draws near within it by performing an optional act, he or she will be like the one who performs a fard act outside Ramadan. And whoever performs the fard act within it, he or she will be like the one who performs 70 fard acts outside of it. It is the month of patience, and the reward of patience is paradise. It is the month of mutual consideration. It is a month in which the provisions of a believer are increased. Whoever feeds iftar to a fasting person will be saved and forgiven of his or her sins and he or she will get the reward of the fast without the original observer losing any rewards from it. The companions عنهم, were eager for reward. However, many of them lived in poverty, so they asked the Prophet of Allah وسلم, لَيْسَ كُلُّنَا نَجِدُ مَا يُفَطِّرُ الصَّائِمِ Not all of us have the means to feed iftar to a fasting person. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam empathetically elaborated, يُعْطِ اللَّهُ هَذَا الثَّوَابَ مَنْ فَطَّرَ صَائِمًا عَلَى تَمْرَةٍ أَوْ شَرْبَةِ مَاءٍ أَوْ مَذْقَةِ لَبَنٍ Allah even gives this reward to a person who feeds a fasting person with a single date or a sip of water or milk. This night was long awaited. Prophet Muhammad wasallam had been looking forward to the coming of the blessed month and valued it immensely. For the past two months, since the arrival of the month of Rajab, the Prophet wasallam had implored his Lord, Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab wa Sha'ban wa ballighna Ramadan. O oh Allah, grant us blessings in Rajab and Sha'ban and allow us to reach Ramadan. Since the beginning of this month, Sha'ban, he had started preparing for Ramadan. Before, he would usually fast on Mondays and Thursdays and on the 13th, 14th, and 15th of every month. He also tended to sporadically fast for several days and followed them with many days of not fasting. Ever since Sha'ban began, he started fasting more than usual, only missing a few days of the month. The lunar calendar is dependent upon the observing of the moon. The new date starts after sunset and night comes before day. If the moon was sighted after the 29th day of the month, the night would be considered as the first night of the new month. 
The previous month would only consist of 29 days. However, if the moon was not sighted, the night would be considered as the 30th night of the month, and the month would consist of 30 days. The Prophet of Allah وسلم, and the Muslim community regularly sought the moon at the end of each month. However, in Sha'ban, the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took special care and consideration lest the days of Ramadan be affected by a mistake. He would advise the, his companions Sumu li ru'yatihi wa aftiru li ru'yatihi fa in ghubbiya alaykum fa akmilu iddata sha'bana thalathin Start fasting for Ramadan upon seeing the moon and stop fasting at the end of Ramadan upon seeing it. If the moon is covered from you, then complete 30 days of Sha'ban. As the 29th night of Sha'ban comes in and the sun disappears behind the horizon, the Prophet of Allah وسلم, and the Muslims offered the Maghrib prayer and went to look for the moon at the end of Sha'ban. They had not as yet found the moon when a villager came before the noble messenger وسلم, and claimed to have seen the moon. The Prophet of Allah وسلم, inquired, Do you testify that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger? The villager responded in the affirmative. The Prophet of Allah وسلم, turned towards Bilal and exclaimed, O Bilal, announce to the people to fast tomorrow. The Prophet of Allah وسلم, reminds them, إِذَا كَانَ أَوَّلُ لَيْلَةٍ مِنْ شَهْرِ رَمَضَانِ صُفِّدَتِ الشَّيَاطِينِ وَمَرَضَتُ الْجِنِّ وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبُوَابُ النَّارِ فَلَمْ يُفْتَحْ مِنْهَا بَابٌ وَفُتِّحَتْ أَبُوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ فَلَمْ يُغْلَقْ مِنْهَا بَابٌ وَيُنَادِي مُنَادٍ يَا بَاغِيَ الْخَيْرِ أَقْبِلْ وَيَا بَاغِيَ الشَّرِ أَقْصِرْ وَلِلَّهِ أُتَقَاءُ مِنَ النَّارِ وَذَلِكَ كُلُّ لَيْلَةِ When it's the first night of Ramadan, the devils and the mischievous jinns are chained. The doors of hell are closed. So none of them opens. The doors of paradise are opened. So none of them closes. And a caller calls, O seeker of goodness, come forth. O seeker of evil, stop. And there are many whom Allah frees from the fire. This happens. Every night. Ramadan has finally arrived in Medina. The Prophet of Allah وسلم, and the companions are hungry for opportunities, always looking to maximize on the rewards they can accumulate this month. As they worshipped and strove in pleasing their Lord, they became an exemplar for us all. Welcome to your first Ramadan with the Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is a recording of a Ramadan with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, published by Mishka Institute. For online courses in comprehending and reading Arabic and Hanafi fiqh, check out www.mishkainstitute.ca.